Hello everybody, my name is Revanation and welcome back to another episode of It Is Time To Play The Deep. Now, this game on Game Jolt, uh, it was made by Mad Lefevera, uh, it's got a 4.6 overall rating out of 5, so we know it's going to be absolutely good. And then, it is a free roaming open world map. Um, it actually takes part in the Australian waters. It's basically like a scuba diving game. You basically go around, you have a look, you swim around and you do some investigating. Yeah. Okay, so what's going to happen is now we're going to go straight into the game. And we're going to have a look. Once again, it is a total free game. So you can actually um, download it yourself and see what you think of it. And have to try it out for yourself and see what you think. But let's have a look over here. Okay, so... Looks very pretty. Come on, come on, it's a seal. Is that a shark or a seal? No, it's a seal. No, no, looks like some kind of seal. Okay, take a picture of it. Okay, so top corner I can see I've got one out of five pictures, zero treasures, and something to do with a beaker. Mm, so okay, so I've got stamina, so I can't swim forever. Picture of this. Stingray, okay, so two out of five pictures. Okay, so like I said, I've got a stamina bar, got a flashlight, got a camera, and then got a journal. Now I'm taking it. The flashlight is for example if I find some some more caves and the obviously cameras for the fishes. Yeah, fishy, 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 fishy. Let's have a look. Straight off, like I said, I mean this looks absolutely beautiful. I mean the water's crystal clear. <laughs> you see the reflections from the sun on the ground. You see the bubbles now and then. You see the animals in the distance. And then also, obviously, water is sometimes murky, so you can like see that down, down there. Okay, so uh, no this barrel is nothing. Fishy, fishy. It's Nemo and Dora. Just keep swimming. No. <laughs> okay, let's have a look here. Um, okay, some kind of sunken boat. Mm. Yeah. More fishy. More fishes. <coughs> Take another picture. Okay, so I've just got four or five pictures now. somewhere around some more so basically as you guys can see there's no real objective to the game other than finding those five pieces of treasure and finding those um, five pictures or taking five pictures and then two um, green goo green liquid in some kind of beaker or something like that I don't exactly know what that is but as you can see it's basically it's the free roaming thing it actually teaches you quite a little bit you get to see what all the animals look like you get to Swim around, basically go anywhere. Now I don't exactly know how big this world is. I know it is free roam and I know it is open world, but obviously like every open world game, it has got its borders. I don't exactly know how big the borders are on this game. Um, I'll almost probably try and swim to the edge and find out like you do in every other game. Swim right to the edge. <laughs> right to the very end and see if we can't find where the borders are. So I've got no idea just how big this place actually is. So yeah. Oh. What's happening? It's gone dark. Okay, so uh, flashlight it gives you quite actually quite a bit of view, and this is actually quite nice because you go from the open water outside, being able to see absolutely everything, to the close to pitch blackness inside here. Now, what I some of the stuff that I actually read on this game is, is that there were 87 um, ratings done on this game out of the 146 downloads that I saw at the time when I downloaded it. Um, and out of those 87, out of those 146, the 87 people that did rate it, so it's come to a total of like 4.6. Yeah, just confirm, yeah, 4.6, 4.6 out of five. That is very well done. So just some, just some props to Mark Lefevere. So props to you, my man. Very nice game. Ooh, what's this? What's this? What's this? What's this? Treasure! Hey, bubble, green bubbles. Is this? Is this what I need for that beaker thing? Um, doesn't. No, no. Doesn't. Doesn't look like it. Okay. 
Okay, so I've now got four pictures, one piece of treasure, and still got no idea what those bubbles are all about. Okay, and it looks like my flashlight runs on nuclear power because this shit ain't never going flat. I have no oxygen bar, but I do have a stamina bar and a depth bar. Currently at about 30 meters, give or take a couple of meters. Now, I, I don't do any scuba diving, I don't snorkel, I don't do any of that. So I don't know if this game is going to be realistic and if you reach like 50 meters or 100 meters, you're going to like implode of water pressure. I really don't know. And you know what? It doesn't even bother me. I mean, this game is actually, it's... It's a change of pace from all the other games that I've done. Dungeon Nightmares, Slender the Cursed Forest. Um, it's a nice change of pace because you're not shooting yourself every 10 seconds. This one you just get to play, have some fun, swim around, find different things, take different pictures, see if there's any easter eggs hidden around. I don't know if there are, so don't ask me. And it's actually quite nice because you're not going to be worried about anything and you're just going to swim around have some fun at something even little kids can play if they really wanted to so you don't have to worry about some kid getting scared about anything and as you can see there when i turned off my flashlight it went very dark so <laughs> it's a good thing these flashlights don't exactly have um battery life Okay, well, as you guys can see, I'm still inside this cave, I am still swimming around, I am still trying to find either some more pictures or, well, take some more pictures, but I haven't seen, I haven't seen any creatures actually inside, any more creatures, animals inside this um, cave, so I think they're mostly outside, unless I come across like an eel or something, I don't, oh, treasure! Sorry. So, oh yeah, like I was saying, um, found some of the pictures, found two pieces of treasure, still haven't got no idea what the coup is all about. And that's basically what this game is about, swimming around, having some fun and just enjoying it. So that is basically all that I have time for today, it's giving you a short walkthrough of the game, you guys can have a look, see what you um, are in for if you do decide to download it for yourself and play it. Like always, it is a free and safe download from Game Jolt, download it, um, play it for yourself and leave a comment in the description below and if you want to see any more annotate, if you want to see any more videos than what I have done, please feel free to click on the annotations below. But other than that, until next time guys, bye!